Nickelodeon, Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's a full collection. Are you ready to see the full collection of the Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? So we've seen some of these online. People have reviewed the exclusive convention released ones. I think these might be exactly the same. Now I can't be sure if you know the answer to that question after I open these, you let me know. But the paint looks the same. Everything's looking the same. They're looking really cool. Something I noticed that's really special about Michael is that he's got some stickers in the back there. He is the smallest turtle. So maybe that's why they put in some stuff. The bios on the backs of these are all the same for the turtles. They give you a little bit of information. It's funny though, on the secondary characters, they have a different card back. So the other five figures had this back, where you can see those bios. Good guys, bad guys. Bad guys. I'll review these again at the end, but you can check out my review of these other ones in great detail in my other video. I'll have a link at the end if you haven't seen it already. Here's Michelangelo in orange. Looking awesome. I see a skateboard in there. Michelangelo is the wild card. Donatello with his translucent awesome accessories. I'm loving these accessories. What does it say about him? It says Tech Wiz. He's the Tech Wiz. This is what Leonardo looks like in his package. <laughs> loving those translucent accessories. You can actually see on the bottom that it is Playmates and they covered up the barcode with a new Spin Master barcode. I don't know why in Canada they're from Spin Master and from the US they're Playmates, something they do. And this is Raphael who used to be my favorite, <laughs> who used to be, who still is. And he is the hunkiest, chunkiest figure of them all. They labeled him as Muscles. Awesome. See how good they look? Again, more translucent accessories. Okay, let's open them. I love the packaging so much, it, it kind of kills me to open them. These are $10 in Canada, which is awesome. That's a really good price. Usually the figures aren't that cheap. Normally you would pay $15 for a figure like this. I don't know what's going on there. I think what has happened here is that we're getting all of the accessories. We're getting their standard regular accessories and we're also getting traditional accessories. There's a lot of throwing stars going on. There's a lot of accessories and the quality is what you expect to get from your Nickelodeon Turtles. It's the same awesome quality. The same great feeling rubbery plastic feels really strong and sturdy. Okay, so the turtles all seem to have the same articulation, which I will run through, and they have a lot of accessories. Let's start with Raphael. He is super big and sturdy looking. A lot of details going on. The paint applications on these are what you've come to expect. Some little mishaps here and there. Luckily, I got to choose the best because I was the first one to go to this display. So I looked through them all and chose the ones that I liked the best. But yeah, every once in a while you see a little paint smudge, but the bright colors look so good. And for the most part, they look super, super duper awesome. Okay, so I may as well show you the articulation. Wrists, elbows, shoulders, head, hips, knees, ankles. These are ninjas. I mean, you need some movement, don't you? This bandana's blowing up front. Really cool. He's got these translucent power fists. He's got these puppies to swing around. They look so good. And like every turtle, he's got two throwing stars, the same as the one that came with Splinter. These can be held in his waistband. And his power fists go on like this. So cool. Oh, he's so cool. Loving it. Leonardo. He's an average size. He's got a place to keep his weapons. He looks real good. He's got some stripes down his face. Skateboard. Got two skateboards going on. A translucent skateboard 
awesome. This big blue icy fiery sword, translucent, love it. A regular good looking sword. That is what I would put in the back. Would you put it up or would you put it down? Goes in like that, sweet. Does he also have wrists? All of the supporting cast have different points of articulation. Again, check out that review if you want to see how they operate. He only has three fingers. He can't hold his sword very well. You can get it in there, but it is kind of just balancing. And like I said before, the plastic is very rubbery and that is good in the way that it makes them durable. But this is a very rubbery holder. So your sword is gonna fall out of there easily. It's quite loose. It's the same rubbery material that a weapon is usually made out of. So it doesn't snap into place. It kind of just squeezes around. The joints are kind of loose too. So they are a bit wobbly, but for the most part, pretty good. It's really, whoa, whoa, see he's dropping everything. Did I mention he comes with two throwing stars? All right, next up we have Michelangelo. Check him out. Oh yeah, he's cool. Look, he's got some fluorescent splashes on him. Cause he's been painting. He looks awesome. The littlest of them all. And he comes with this non-translucent skateboard. Looking like that, there's a turtle shell on the back. It's got these dangerous looking puppies. It looks like a boxing glove and a saw on the ends of these. <laughs> That's hilarious. And then he's got this double, triple nunchuck thing going on. Not workable chains, but they're there. And two throwing stars. And he comes with a sticker sheet. I guess he can decorate his board with it. Is that what that's about? They're pretty cool stickers, I have to say. I guess he's the graffiti artist. Yeah, there's some very, very sweet little stickers there. All of uh, the turtle interests are depicted. So this giant nunchuck, I guess, can be fastened to the front of his shell, like so. And then, not the best grip, but you can get the things into his hands. It's not a tight grip at all. Then you can put him on his skateboard. That's him with all of his bling. Well, except for his throwing stars. I don't know how you're supposed to hold those. Last, but certainly not least, we have Donatello. Would he be considered the coolest turtle? Because he is a soft gel turtle and you can remove his additional extra turtle shell. And it looks like he's got some kind of hoverboard mechanism. I'm thinking he's a flyer and that can snap on to the back of his shell. Did I give you a good rotation of him? He is the techno guy. And then more translucent goodness. This staff with flames ablazing, or maybe it's slime on both sides. Slime ablazing. And then he's got a regular gray staff that looks like this. You can, can poke someone really hard with that. It's got like a turtle shell design on it kind of thing. And two throwing stars. I like his night vision goggles too. They're sweet. He is looking good and yeah, lots of accessories going on here. Woo! This is a lot of turtle fun. So much stuff. Let me know in the States what the prices are on these. I'm really curious. I'm so surprised that the price is so low. They're awesome. Okay, let me know which one is your favorite. Stay tuned at the end and I'll show you these guys, but also check out the main review and you can see the details up close and everything. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Turtle power! what Splinter looks like. He's got an awesome staff. Wait till you see the secret in that. And this is April. She looks cute, but she swings a mighty bat. And she's got a cute little kitty. And the Origami Ninja, he looks scary, but awesome. Meat Sweats. I mean, come on. <laughs> Look at that guy. He's huge and heavy. Baron Draxum? Look at this guy. Especially look at his legs. And his cape and oh. He is so cool. Awesome. Turtles!
This is so much fun. Turtle power.